Hello everyone and welcome to Las Vegas Style. You don't want to change this channel. On today's episode, we're going to give you updates on Miley Cyrus. What else do we got, Mike? Also a little bit on Charlie Sheen. And we have Melanie, our very own Melanie. She has found the most famous underwear in all the world. <laughs> That's right here. And it can't be Las Vegas Style without famous underwear. That's right. Don't change that channel. Hello everyone, I'm Valerie Pro alongside with All Night Mike in the house. That's right, we got some very fun, interesting celebrity gossip coming your way. Yeah, we're on like the love couches this That's, episode. I know, I love, I love it. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these were provided by who? Court Furniture. Court Check Furniture. Them out. I, that's the commercial you're on. That's right. Give it up for Court. I like it. I feel like I'm like Fireside with All Night Mike and Valerie Pro. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on, the infamous Charlie Sheen up to his... Regular annex. I heard an interview not too long ago. He's back, ready to go to work. I know. And the producers of Two and a Half Man have said numerous times that without him, there will be no show. Yeah, they st they closed the door, but he seemed to go down there and knock on and say he wants to work. Let the man work. Charlie Sheen's got a lot of habits he's got to pay for. <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing. He might be in rehab, but he has time to go to work because he has to pay for some stuff. When you're paying $30,000 for porn stars, you need to work. Those must be some really nice porn stars. <laughs> yeah. Let Charlie Sheen work. And also, you, t you were telling me earlier something about the Cyrus family. That's right. That's right. Billy Ray Cyrus, Miley's father. He's got an achy, breaky heart. Oh, he really does, though. He said if he could take back Hannah Montana, he would. He wished it never would have happened because it really... <laughs> he wished he was never born. <laughs> <laughs> he just says it's really destroyed his family. And he this is even quoting Billy Ray Cyrus, that he feels Miley Cyrus is going down the same track as Anna Nicole Smith. Oh my God. What do we think uh, of that? That would be sad. Well, I hope not. I know, you know, they have these videos of her on the bong and she's... Maybe he should wish that he never came up with the song Achy Breaky Heart. Maybe that's where Stop. he should start. <laughs> <laughs> I like Achy Breaky Heart. You can't go wrong. But I do see where he's coming from. Uh, Miley, obviously. A concerned is... father, I guess, but you dance with the devil and your daughter ends up on the pole. Well said, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened, you know? But Very speaking well of, let's get back to some concerts coming up. We do have some fantastic co concerts coming back. And in fact, perennial Las Vegas favorites are coming back to call Vegas their home. None other than the queen of the strip for such a long time. And she's coming back to the palace. That's right. Caesar's Palace. The one and only Celine Dion. Yay! March 15th. It is a great show. I'm glad it's back. And it also means good for Vegas because she brings a lot of people in the town. And maybe it'll help boost that economy back up. And I'm that's excited. That's right. We have to, that's when Vegas needs money, we have to call a French Canadian. That doesn't sound right, but we're going for it. I actually heard a rumor about Celine Dion that she lived out, I think it was Lake Las Vegas yep. or Boulder City, Lake Las yep, Vegas. Yep, she helicoptered that's in. That's it. Yeah. The rumor I heard was every show she would take a helicopter from her house and over to near the palace. I want to be Celine Dion when I grow up. I know. Look at that diva going. Yeah, so you got to love her. Who else and we got coming? You know who else is coming? Barry Manilow. I, when did he leave? <laughs> well, he didn't really leave, but he's going to be here this weekend at the Paris. So he, like, does his little spots. He's here all the time, but he comes in and out. Right. Good Funniest show, thing ever, my Barry Manilow story. I was at the Orleans one time, and I'm bowling on the lane. And then the lane next to me at the Orleans was Barry Manilow. Oh, my goodness. So I got to say I was bowling with Barry. There, I like it. Bowling with Barry. So is he any good? Thing. I didn't get, I didn't really watch, I, but but I just, I just thought it was ironic. It was like one in the morning and you're bowling and there's Barry Manilow. Nice. Only in Las Vegas. That's a Las Vegas style. We're going to go to a quick commercial break, but coming back, as we said in the little teaser in the beginning there, Melanie, our very own Melanie, our Australian beauty, is on the floor of the magic show and she has seemed to found the most famous underwear for yours truly all night, Mike. Let's check it out right after these messages. 
Welcome back to Las Vegas Style. Again, I'm All Night Mike with the beautiful, lovely Valerie Pro. Oh, cool, thank you. Speaking of beautiful and lovely, we have one of our very own hosts on the floor of the Magic Show just a few weeks back, and we got some good details, some good footage, and just nice to know that Melanie was thinking about me while she was there. Oh, great. And she found me a pair of boxers. Let's check this segment out. Uh-oh. Melanie, on the, on the floor of the... Where, where was the convention center at? I'm a little nervous. Las Vegas Convention Center. It was at the Las Vegas yeah. Convention show, Center. The magic show. Melanie is there, and she found me some boxers. Let's check it out. Now, check this out. Tell us a little bit about this teeny-weeny little package you have in your hand. First off, the fact that you said teeny weeny little package. I but, think uh, you have, but I said in your hand. It's in your hand. Uh, basically, you got these, and you dip this in water for about uh, three to five minutes, and presto, you got these. So it goes from this to, to this. To the bigger chili pepper. To the bigger chili pepper. <laughs> That's amazing. That's so they're, cute. They're great for guys and for girls because we make these also for oh, girls. Oh, cute. I love cats. I hope you have some with cats on them. Maybe. You know what, though? I have a little bit of an idea. We have someone back at the studio, Mike, all night Mike. Now, uh, let's pick some underwear for him. So blonde hair, blue eyed, you know, but it'd be crazy. What would be the best thing for him? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. All right. Mike. Mike, this is what we have for you. I think you will look gorgeous in it. I'm Melanie with Las Vegas Style, and we are here at Bravo, the Magic Convention for 2011. Here you go, Mike. So uh, are you going to be sporting those anytime soon for us uh, here at Las Vegas Style? I'm in utter horror right now. <laughs> You yeah. know, they suit you, though. I can see where she, I, I what angle she was going for. find something with a little Tickle Me Elmo <laughs> on it or something. I, I, I thought, I didn't think it was going to be, what do you call those things anyway? I don't wear those. Boxers with, with... But they had the thing, the garter belts are... That's very sexy, Mike. You yeah? should really look into Me it. Me and garter belts. What do you think, people? Call in. Let us know. <laughs> no, really don't. No, don't call us. Well, he'll you know what? It. It's time to get Melanie back because I heard she was slipping into a Gabita. They're out of uh, Columbia and New York. And so you got that. Whenever you talk about bathing suits in Colombia and the word gabita, I'm all excited yeah, about it. Yeah, you can't it. go wrong. And, and since Melanie's uh, put me in a little garter belt boxers, we're going to do this for you, Melanie. Check you out. And this beautiful, though, she does look great in this. And I think the gabita swimwear makes her look good. So. That's right. Beautiful swimsuit. So let's take a look. designer, director, and everything. Now, how do we pronounce your name again? Juliana. Juliana. So, tell us, whereabouts are you from? I'm from Colombia, okay. South America. Okay, and how long have you been in the States for? I've been here for three years. Okay, so tell us something. You have clothing. Yeah. What What is the material? What is it made of? So, this uh, is my collection, Noche, and uh, it's 100% it's crochet, handmade. Uh, we have different techniques uh, and one-of-a-kind dresses. You guys are getting used swimsuits for your 2012 calendar, is that correct? Yes, sir. We, we take a calendar trip every year to film our swimsuit calendar. And we're going this year in a few weeks and it um, will be published in the summer probably. And we always go and pick out really trendy, cute swimsuits to wear and uh, show them off for our Dallas Cowboys cheerleader calendar. I know, so this year, Gabita is actually going to be designing some ones especially for you girls. We can't wait to see them. Uh, we're hopefully going to get a sneak peek, but we might not be able to see them until they actually get launched. So thank you so much. I hope you have a great convention. I'm from Los Angeles, and this is Fluff, my line. And uh, this is our first time here debuting the line of uh, shirts. All right. Here.
designer of these? Uh, what have you got? You've got jackets, shawls. What else yeah. have you got? It's like scarves and uh, vests, whatever we put. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So who's the designer of these? We have young designers between 20 and 25 years old. Wow, yeah. amazing! Young designers that are designing with fur now. Yeah. How do you feel the response in America is to fur right now? I think it's more classic. We have more Italian stylish furs. I'm in Las Vegas at the Magic Convention, and behind me is the Lani booth. It is one of the hottest up and coming designs there is on the market. It's not too fancy, it's really comfortable, neutral colors, but check it out. It's an amazing line, and it is going to be big this year.